Today we're taking you on a deck-by-deck -deck ship tour of the shiny new Sun Princess. We're going to show you where we liked, where we think you'll like, and some little ship tips in between. Hi, it's Linz from Sweet Natured. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together. And this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. As you said in the introduction, Linz, today is one of our bigger videos, certainly longer ones. It's our ship tour. Yes, full, full whack ship tour. The full whack ship tour? Yeah, not a... As opposed to the half whack ship tour. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the brand new Sun Princess. At the point that we were recording this, it was only its second sailing. Yes. Uh, so everything's shiny and new. Or closed. Or closed. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple of parts of the ship that they were still waiting on sign off, like on the uh, Part 19 area, the rope course. We saw them practicing on it. We did. But it were working, waiting on official health and safety sign off. What a shame. It is. Because I know you were looking forward to me videoing you walking around that so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Part 19 area has been described as sort of a play area for uh, children of all ages. Yes. And when you see that high rope course, the top part, because it's on two tiers, is really high. It's really high. I'm not sure I'd be that happy. Like sending my like five year old up there. Yeah, I don't think that. No, there'll be a but height. I'd be quite happy sending you up there to video it. Oh, no, there'll be a height restriction, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. And then you've got the, is it called Sea Breeze? I the glider system that we can kind of see going over our. Oh, no, here. I did actually look forward to that. Yeah, cause it, it's something very different to what we've got on anything else. It kind of made me think of the Petrodon flyers at Universal in Orlando. Yes. Yeah, I was trying to think when I was walking around, what does this sort of mechanic remind me of? Yeah. And it is, it's that from Universal. Yeah, I'm well so done. clever. Um, <laughs> I thought we'd see more people at those hangover areas there, the bit that I was just filming. Yes. It's got two handles either side, mm -hmm. and you can sort of put your feet in a position and lean forward, and it's like you're hanging over the edge of it. Yeah. But the reality is I didn't really see that many people no, doing it. but it was very quiet up here because it, because it's closed. So maybe that was, maybe when it's all opened up, there'll be people hanging over the edge. Maybe. I mean, when you say it's closed, the deck wasn't closed. No, the deck's not you, closed. You could walk around here, but for instance, this area here where you climb up to the lookout. Yeah. And you go back down the slide. I mean, it looks a lot of fun. It does. There's a ball. There's two Did balls. You, wow. <laughs> I never saw the two balls. Did you see? I, well, obviously I saw the two balls. <laughs> It won't film in itself at this point. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of technology and at the point that I can send the drone <laughs> off to do all this by itself and I can join you with a cocktail wherever you are. No, that's uh, not true. That's absolutely not true. Uh, and then at the back of it here, behind this, they've got this raised at the moment, they've got that little fence in, because that's the splash zone. Okay. So I didn't first appreciate that when we first came on. We were just stood there. And oh, it's one of it. those. That's one of those where the water will just splash up. So when you come straight out of the door... That's what you're going to meet? Yeah. Wow. So you have to be careful coming <gasps> up there. Now, this is where we arrived when we first got on, isn't it? Here? It is. So if you've watched our sort of first reaction, first impressions tour, mm -hmm. and if you haven't, there'll be a link in the description below. Oh, my below. goodness. Um, the, we came straight up to this deck. Yes. And this was literally the first thing that we saw after we got on the ship because we went straight up here. Yes, yeah. And I think we were really curious about it because it's the first time that Princess has done like a family area. Um, To this extent, yes, definitely. Yeah. It, you, Outside. You, yeah. You, it's always had sort of its children's club type yeah. areas. But this is a a dedicated, significant deck space. I've got to say, it looks a lot of fun. Um, they look to have spent a lot of money on it. It's not basically a little pitch and put. And the a little pitch and put, a little mini golf. <laughs> yeah, it's it, they do look to have really thought about it. And I'm sure once it opens, it's going to be great. It isn't. Yeah, at the time of recording now, it is literally due to open any day. Yes. Um, so hopefully people will be, by the time they see this video... Um, or by the time they get on, yeah, they'll it's be all able up. to really yes. make a, so a lot of So tell us how, how it is. Yeah, if you have been on there at the point that you're watching it, did you enjoy it? Was it great? And is it like 
the Petrodon flyers where they won't let adults on. Is it like that? No, it's meant to be available for okay. all ages. Okay. I'm sure there are things like weight limits and stuff because okay. you always are on these no matter where you are. Yeah. Um, I did like the outdoor spaces on here. Yes. I like these as well. You can't really tell on there. That, no. That's just me going for the gimmicky shot. <laughs> uh, but obviously they were free. Yes. But they worked incredibly well. They did work really well. I can't remember where we were because they're, they're in a few places and we were looking through and you could clearly see I, in the distance. Yeah, I'd be careful if you pull up at the side of a mine shift ship. <laughs> yeah, you're pointing in that general direction yeah yeah because they, they have a uh, decks where there's less clothing required <laughs> or maybe maybe you seek them out maybe, maybe maybe when they pull up at the side of those ships they put a blanket over it so you can't use you them you do you, you yeah you, yeah absolutely uh jim nice space i think this is probably the first time you're seeing this again yes um it looks they're very little towels. It's got, they're like face towels. They're not for drying your old body off. Oh. It's if you get sweaty when you're working out, you can. Is that oh, before, you, before you touch other equipment? I think I've seen people wipe the machine with those as well. Is that what? what okay. Well, also if you're going to sit on like the bikes and stuff, you can put on the seat on the so little not, towel. It's better than no towel. Is it? It were interesting to see that they had some nice fitness classes on here as well. Again, it, it's not something that we generally do. But it wasn't covered because we had the Princess Premium. So we could have done them if we so desired. Princess Premier. Princess, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, your fitness classes are included yes. within that. They had a really interesting one, I don't know if you remember it, mm-hmm. uh, called the IV treatment. Oh, there was something, I don't know what that was. Well, apparently it's hangover cure stuff. And I should it, have tested that. <laughs> you definitely should have tested it after the second night. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you'd had a few too many drinks again that night. I brought my rule of mixing red wine and cocktails. Well, that when we went to Dario's? Yes, and the Chianti. Yeah, because it's when you go to um, Butcher's Block by Dario, which is kind of this sort of we'll see food it. experience. Yeah, one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see it as we're getting down. Yeah. You get unlimited wine during it, and they just keep bringing it. Yeah. And, yeah, we'd already had cocktails before, and then yeah. we went for more cocktails afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah, you were a little bit rough the following day. So <laughs> next time we're on a Sun Princess, if that happens again, which it probably will, yes, um, then we'll give that a go and see yeah. if it works. Okay, now we're heading to the fitness centre now. So this is where they put on the spin classes. Wow. But it's where they put the other class on as well, so like yoga, Pilates. Um, they also had, on a couple of occasions when I walked past here, the uh, entertainment cast rehearsing and, okay. and practicing in okay. there. Okay, well, it's a nice space, so I can see see why they do that. Yeah, and you got a nice view outside as well. Oh, water fountains there. Yeah, the the fitness area on board is really spacious. I would say it's it's kind of Virgin Voyage, is it? Looking at it there. Yeah, because they've done similar to what Virgin did, where they've split the gym and the workout areas into two separate areas yeah. where you've got sort of your, your more traditional gym equipment and then you've got the classes. Yes. Um, because you don't always get the same people. No, before. no. The photo studio were quite interesting. We were speaking to someone when we were on board because it's been called something else previous. I forget what it's called. But they always used to do the photographs in black and white. Oh, and now the colour. Yeah. So I don't know why that change i'm assuming that there's more desire for colour colored ones. yeah i guess so but that's if you want to go there and have some professional shots done not just in that tiny little room but they'll go around the ship with you yes. and do that yeah alternatively if you have the princess premier package your photographs are included not but in not from that there studio no. so if you see people stood around taking photos with screens on formal nights type thing yeah they're all included and you get sort of the digital versions and then some printed ones but that one no okay now, this, this is the salon now, isn't it? And where you get your nails and your feet done. Yes, yeah, so this is the spa area. Now, Not the enclave, that's separate. Yeah, this, it's in a completely separate part. Yeah, well, it's on the, yeah, it's like miles away. Yeah, it is. You normally used to see like the Lotus Spa and then the enclave type area. All knitted together. Yeah, they're not. They're no. completely different parts of the ship now. Yeah. So like, this is... 
well, that confused us when we first went because we're like, yeah. we're wearing a wet spa. Yeah. And we're down on deck six. Oh, so. did I just see Elliot and Mark? The cruising gears. I did. You did just see them. So through the magic of editing, you didn't see me talking to them at this point <laughs> for about five minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the men's uh, spa. And they actually have a little men's makeup and treatment room, which is nice. how they described it. So that's what? this area here. Wow. So not only can you go get your hair done and beard trims and stuff like that, if you want makeup or you want a facial or anything like that, it's on a little dedicated I, area I for think men. more and more men are starting to, to use products now, aren't they? Yeah. And I think more and more are looking for those sort of treatments when they're yes. going on as well. Yeah. It used to be, you know, you, you'd have an area within the main spa where men could get a haircut. Yes. But you didn't have a men's Not dedicated section. Not where they could section. really spoil themselves. No, but that's changed definitely with the likes of Virgin having sort of dedicated areas. But other cruise lines as well. Yes. Um, have realised that they can make money there. And cruise <laughs> lines are quite keen on making money. Especially if you want a longer cruise. Yeah. You, know, you probably do need to get sort of tidied up at some yeah, point. Yeah, and it? depending on what you're doing on your cruise, whether it's the sun affecting your skin or... If you're on a cold cruise, you might find that a facial's really going to help. So, yeah. yeah, I like that. I know many people watching this will find this hard to believe, but by the time we've got to the end of like a two-week cruise, I actually do need a haircut. <laughs> 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 it's only three hairs, but they do need cutting at that point. Oh. I know. Uh, out onto the pool deck. Nice. What did you think of the pool deck? Um, that is a very good question because we did sit out there a couple of times. We did, and I swam in the pool. Yeah, and we sat. Now, what I found annoying is that. What? The big screen. You found it annoying? Yes. Why? Because one day it was playing what can only describe as a Hallmark movie. Oh, yeah, it was some random one, wasn't it? And I was like, what is this? Why can't I just have some nice, put on the screen, some nice images of all around the world where... The, I they did do that occasionally. And some plinky plinky music. And just Well, they've extended out what was the movies under the stars. Yeah. Which used to they still have that. They do. When and we that... saw it. Um it just want the warmest time of year no. for us to be sat there with the popcorn no. watching a film. And that always used to be in the evening. Yeah. But they have movies on throughout the day. But the movie, no. like the movie, was about a woman who was widowed. <laughs> it was a and getting over choice. the grief of her husband losing her <laughs> husband. While he sat there necking cocktails, it were weird. It, it choice, was, wasn't it? and then um, um, I mean, it, but one bit I did like each afternoon. I think it was about three o'clock. And again, I don't know if they're doing this ongoing or whether it was just on our cruise. But they had they were putting on a concert series. Yes. So you got like Katy Perry, yeah, yeah, I liked that, uh, etc. And that were nice because you had music them playing. As yeah. you can see there, we've got. Somebody playing at this point. It, uh, Who, who's playing? Can I, you tell? No, I couldn't. I oh, thought that's it was right, then. I don't have to use my. If still. you can figure out who that was from that, please do <laughs> put that in the comments below. Can we just talk about the bar that we just passed then as well? You can talk about that. That is uh, one of the places because they've introduced so many new cocktails on Sun Princess. That's one of the places where you can get the classic princess cocktails. Hey, so you can get the 24 carat margarita. Your dirty gold banana. Mar dirty banana. Those, those sorts of classic princess cocktails. I mean, while we're talking about cocktails on there, they'd introduced over 200 yes, brand yes, new cocktails. Yes. I know. But what I was saying about that is that <laughs> I, I was following on from that bar, is that every bar has unique cocktails yes. now. No matter which bar you no. go to. No. Because you normally used to see them at very specific bars, like Good Spirits. Yeah. But now, every one of them. Now, this is new, the tacos and shawarma. The leader tacos. Yes. Now, your taco... Fell apart. <laughs> um, it, it... To be fair, it ended up a bit wet with <laughs> the stuff that I put <laughs> in there. And by the time I sort of got around to eating it, it was dissolving in my hand. That is no sort of shame to the taco. That's my choice of what I put into it and waited too long yeah, to so eat it. Yeah, so don't go too wet with your fillings. Uh, and don't wait five minutes to eat it either. Yeah, and, and taking pictures thing. of it and filming it <laughs> from but, every angle. <laughs> which, to be fair, I did. <laughs> this area down here is where obviously people go and eat down there as well. There's plenty of seats. Even on sea days, it was never an issue getting a seat out there. No. I do think they have a lot of deck space for, for sitting out. Yes. Compared to um, some other cruise lines. And the multiple decks as well, not just on the on the... Uh, 
Lido deck. But Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've seen it as we've been walking around already. There's no shortage on there, but also when you get down onto deck, uh, deck, deck nine near the eatery. Oh, there's that, that there's that sort of semi promenade. Oh area. yes, yeah. And then don't go all the way around. No, no. Then decay, you've got. Yeah. To spend, we're going to see that as we're walking yeah, yeah. on. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We are. So this area here is the Sea View Bar slash back of dome area. Off <laughs> front of ship. <laughs> I don't actually know what its proper name. Well, we just refer to it as the Sea View area because that's what the bar were called. Yeah. It is dome adjacent. I would. I would. It's not even adjacent. It's more forward. Dome forward. It's dome forward. We really liked it. We Again, did like if you it. if you've seen sort of our first impressions when, when we tips. came in here, or tips, you know, we talked about it being sort of a sanctuary light. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not as plush as the sanctuary. It's not as exclusive as the sanctuary, but it's also no more money. We did see children walk through it. In here? Yes. Yeah, but there weren't many children on our cruise, no. so it was very difficult to say how many would use it. It's not an adults-only area. Yeah. Anyone can use this. Um, but the space is lovely. It is so nice. You've got parts of it that have got sort of sheltered in, as you can see there, with the glass. Yeah. Uh, which gives you a little bit of protection from the sun. Mm-hmm. Not a huge amount. No. But, some, but it does break the wind in terms of it. you don't get these gusts that you can no. sometimes get right at the front. No. And it does give you the best views when you come in into a port or going out of a port. It's fabulous. It and really is. Perfect place to sail away. And I would say it wasn't, when we were there on the sea day, it wasn't that busy either because some people opened, people went into the dome um, yeah. and, and sort of chilled out there. But this was lovely. They've managed to make the spaces, the outside spaces, which again we talked about earlier, sort of spread throughout the ship and therefore we didn't see on our particular cruise people all piling to one it's like no. traditionally you'll get everyone piling around the pool yes. and they'll be there from seven o'clock in the morning you get there by eight and there's no beds no there were never a time where we came to an area including yeah. the main pool including here including in the dome yeah where we couldn't get somewhere to sit or no. somewhere to lie down no i'm absolutely positive there will be they're calling it the sea, sea view, view terrace. terrace there you go if only there were a giant sign that had a video <laughs> that told me what the area was called i'm we're still calling it the sea dome, view bar dome, dome, form. Dome, dome, forward. dome forward but i do love this space and i wasn't sure from the the original sort of uh images that they showed and the renders how nice it would be compared no. to that and the reality is personally it's my favourite forward part of any ship we've ever been on. Really? Yeah. Really? And I think previously that would have been set to one of the Royal Caribbean's solarium... Yeah, anthem bits. class. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know... We, Quantum we, class, sorry. Yeah, we've always liked that space. But this piece here, I wasn't sure how much of it was going to be this gimmick of this dome. Or, or that usable. Or, or usable. And the reality is the space is really usable. Um, would it be nice if they had padded cushions on all the seats? Yeah, but... Yeah, but then why would you go to the sanctuary? Exactly, or, exactly. You know, there are other reasons to go to the sanctuary, but it'd get rid of a main reason. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not that it's uncomfy. No. Uh, in any way at all. No. And we're going to go into the dome in a second. Um, and, again, I was surprised as to just how usable and nice this space is. Now, I'll be interested to hear when people have been on the ship and the shows are in there, what the seating situation is like, because they've got those big lounges, haven't they, in the dome? Yeah. So I, if you've if you've done it, let us know in the comments Yeah, because at below. the point that we were on this, they were just doing occasional little shows in there, not the big acrobatic no. Cirque du Soleil type no. shows, um, which that is was stunning. a shame. This was like sort of Instagram post shot, perfection yes at night it looks amazing yeah it's beautiful it does have water running down it's not just an effect you'll see it when i'm at the top looking the opposite way uh and it looks far prettier in real life than it does on, on here green yeah yeah does it do anything other than look nice no but, but it looks nice it's beautiful it's beautiful when you're looking at an air an entrance to the area it sets a tone for how you should feel when you enter the dome yeah it's not a thunderdome 
kind of. No, <laughs> there's definitely no Mad Max stuff going on. No, there, no, yeah. it's a very serene dome. It might be less serene when it's got the circus stuff going on. Well, there. maybe. I wonder if they're going to do a, a... Oh, if they don't do Thunderdome, Tina Turner, we don't need another hero. I feel that... They're missing out on <laughs> an opportunity. It's missed a trick. Yeah. The, the screen and the pool, as you could just see there, the pool's that inside-outside, so you get in, and it is heated. It is, yes. No, it, it's not red hot. It's not like a hot tub, but it's nice when you sort of swim outside. It's not huge, but it's nice to be able to do so. That screen, it doesn't look as impressive when you're on camera because obviously the, no. the camera pixelates it a little bit because it's uh, how it's made up. But in reality, the picture quality on it's amazing. Am I just looking out the window? There I am, look. There you are, waiting on a cocktail by the look of it. That sounds about right. <laughs> um <laughs> When you see, just going back to that dome screen. Sorry. When we were in there, it were putting up images um, and video of places where we'd been. Yes. Or, or meant to be, because it showed Santorini as well, <laughs> where we were meant to go on the cruise, and it, it sort of got changed out for the late. Um, but it's just that nice, when you talked about the main pool, I mean, that chilled image sort of vibe. Yeah. It's just got some really nice, relaxed music in here. Yes. And those images Look on the screen. Look at the top of the fountain. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And it's a really comfy area. Now, those day bed type areas where you were sat, they were quite popular. Yes. You could see when I were walking up there. Yeah. But there's also a lot of like comfy seating at the top of here. Yeah, nice cushions. You can just come and chill out. Yeah. Uh, and this is just for people to see the opposite side of the fountain. <laughs> the back side of the fountain. <laughs> the back side of water. Oh, two H. Um, oh, my goodness. I love this space. Yeah. I thought it was going to be, as I said earlier, a bit gimmicky. Um, and it were like their cell thing for the ship, the, the bit that yes. makes it stand out. But the reality is, it's a really nice space. I'm desperate for us to go on a sphere class ship again, either Sun or Star, when that comes out, and properly see like the, the shows and stuff in there yeah. to see how it works in an evening mm-hmm. um, in comparison. But I loved it. Yeah, it was great. And absolutely gorgeous. We sat there on a Sunday morning. We had mimosas. It was, it was lovely, really lovely. And I found myself looking out the windows at the clouds more than I looked at the screen. Just looking up. Yeah, it was, it was so beautiful. It was. One of the bits I'll just cover off quickly before we leave the dome area was that um, I thought you might get some wind come through where there's that. Outside little inside hole. Pole, yeah. pole, you didn't. No, uh, no, they have nice. a little door that comes down, don't they? Well, just before we carry on on the deck, would you like to invite people to subscribe? Oh my goodness, I would love to invite you to subscribe. Thank you, as always, if you already have done. It means so much. And yes, thank you. And of course, you can follow along on social media, such as Instagram and TikTok, but we're also on Facebook and X slash Twitter. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh. On with the talk. Oh, no, don't do that. People won't subscribe. What's that? That that funny voice. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. No no funny voice. Um, Just my normal voice. More. This is the opposite side to where the tacos were. Yes, so this is the area. So we, we've literally just walked around that side. The salad area were really popular. It was really popular. That generally, at lunchtime, had a bigger queue than the tacos. Mm. The pizza were more very popular, and the burgers were popular. Yes, we but had the... What did we have? The Princess Signature Burger. Oh, I thought we had a sausage. Oh, no, we did. We had the hot dog on the first day. Oh, oh, Bra- when we got hot, yeah. it's their bratwurst, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. And some cheesy che- fries or something. Yes. Now the the loaded cheesy fries they didn't have there, did they? Not at this time. Because it's not the total salty dog experience. <laughs> it's salty dog light. Yeah. Uh, main pool deck. Mm-hmm. The pool was heated, but not as warm as the one at the back in the dome. Front. At the front in the dome, <laughs> even. <laughs> I'm thinking of where I just walked to this yeah. behind me uh, on the camera here. Um, but again, really nice space, and there's Tom from Cruising with the Four Bs there. Yes, and Ernest. Yeah, they got so they got their money's worth out of that pool. They did, and the ice creams. The yes. primary ice creams. They yeah. managed to get through them all. Yeah, we we only got through one. We only got through with one. A poor effort. If you get through more, well, well done you. Absolutely, I do like this space. Yes, uh, like I say, aside from the weird choice of the Hallmark movie on one day. 
it, it's just a nice chilled out area. They had live music playing here a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and again, this wasn't the height of summer. No. So it's not that you've got people set out. You might look at this and go, oh, it's really hot. I think this day is like 21 or something. So it's not... What's that in... Scotch. About 65, 60-ish. Yeah, you always try and convert it. I and, do and try and convert it because I'm a global hot, hot. citizen. You are. Well done, my princess. Uh, on uh, back of it, again, we've got more bar areas. Mm-hmm. You never fire away, which you're very happy about, from <laughs> a bar. And again, going back to what I said earlier each one this is the mixed cocktail bar yes um for for the pool deck and you'll see from the menu here the amount of bits it's got are phenomenal but also has, it highlights what you can get on the plus and premier package yes different to each other one as well yeah. as well as all the other ones as well and there was plenty on across both there were, and again unique cocktails yeah at, at that place and then at the other side here um, you've got where you get the ice creams, so the yes. premier desserts. Yes. You can get them over here as well as juices. Uh, I think you could get coffees here as well. Yeah, we discovered right. on the last day that they had the premier juices because I would have. Um, Which probably, this is where they were. Up yeah, here. participated in that much more. Yeah, so they have sort of like slushy type stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's coffee. Yes. I'll try to just remember from. Yeah. We never got a coffee from here. No. Um, but this is where you can go get those bits. Yeah. Now, we haven't talked about the bathrooms. Are you going to show me some bathrooms? I'll be walking past bathrooms, but I don't I, I don't focus on the bathrooms. Well, we just wanted to say that they are the new electronic door bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're designed to be touchless, which I approve of. Yeah, but I don't trust the touchless. <laughs> <laughs> you touch them to open, not necessarily to lock. No, you do... There's no. <laughs> yeah, I say we. I don't really concentrate on them. You okay. go, you go into them much more on your practical ship tips video. So if people want to see more of Lindsay's bathroom experiences, just have a look on there. <laughs> what I did really like yes. is the new lift system that they put in. Yes, which is the smart lifts it or is. elevators. So if you've been on. Uh, any of the new MSC ships, or you've been uh, you've been fortunate enough to be on the new Icon class ship. Yes. Um, albeit at the time recording, there's only Icon that's out. Um, they've all introduced these type, and the reality is, we never queued for a lift. No. Even coming out of a show, because it splits the load really well. Mm-hmm. And even when we got off the ship on disembarkation, we never and with had luggage. That. No problem whatsoever. Normally it's complete chaos yes of everyone who's trying to do walk off carrying the bags off at that point yeah or just just trying to disembark in general or even on days when you know for getting off the ship yeah it was it was we we were like oh goodness when we how many people are going to be in the lift looking at us saying you're not getting in and it didn't happen at no, all it was just no issue where a no. really nice system um but you'll see for yourself when you go yeah alfredo's i thought we weren't doing the silly voice anymore it's not a silly voice. It, okay. This is Alfredo's. <laughs> Alfredo's. Oh, let me have another drink. This is Alfredo's, and um, I love Alfredo's. I do. There's always ongoing debate as to does best pizzas. Let's see, a lot of people say MSC. MSC. Some people say Oceana. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, we've not been on Oceana, but we have done MSC. Is we it have not done Oceania? That. Oceania? No, but um, Alfredo's is my favourite. Now I, I, I we went for lunch. We did. We didn't go for dinner. I wish we'd gone for dinner as well, but we had. It was the same menu. I know it's the same menu. I just really like pizza. <laughs> you really like Alfredo's pizza. And if you remember when we went to Alfredo's, it was the the the, the lunch time after the night before when when I'd, I'd maybe just had a bit too much Chianti. I do remember that. And I didn't really fancy breakfast, so I had pizza for breakfast. You did. And then I felt better. And when we say breakfast, it was lunch. The that healing, was the first part that you managed to eat. It's the healing power of pizza. It is. It's proven fact that it cures hangovers. And I had a three-course lunch. You did. And I felt much better. The area that we were just there while you were talking about your pizza cure... I love pizza. ...was the show excursions. Yes. So it's... There's a lot of self-serve. They do have people there mm-hmm. to help you out if you need it. And you can book from, from your room as well. You, you book from your room. You can 
book from there. And that's, it was just a nice, less intrusive area, but also it meant you didn't have to queue as much. Now, International Cafe has moved. It has, because it's traditionally at, at the bottom floor of the atrium. Yes. Which... Usually yeah, it, next to a good spirit, it's very general It's location. normally close to a bar. Yes. Whereas now, it's up out just outside the eatery. Yes. Which, I didn't have an issue with that, but it were a busy area. But you're up on deck nine here, aren't you? You'd have to sort of move out to do any people watching. And we'll, it's... we'll come back to the that in a second. Okay. But just while we're here, I just want to touch this. This is essentially the future cruise area. It is. They don't have a dedicated office type thing no. where you go into. And this little globe here, mm-hmm. um, I will try to do it whilst I'm videoing, which is not the easiest thing to no, do. No, no. You can see where your ship is. Yeah. You can see where all of the other prin- princess fleet is. Yes. But if you tap your band and you've been on before, it'll show you all of your other cruises that you've done previously. And where you've been. Where you've been. Oh, It wow. pulls up this little passport with stamps on it. Yeah. Which I think is a really nice little thing. But you can also get the itineraries of where it's going. Yeah. Now, I don't think they're utilising that screen enough for the... F- At the back of it? Yeah, for the future cruise. On there, there should be an amazing must-book-on-board offer. Yeah. And when, obviously, I went past at that point, we're in a port at this point, which is why there's not really anyone there. They do have the some princess people there to help you book. Yeah. And you'll see them sat there with a laptop. Yes. Uh, and we got a, a quote while we were on there. We didn't book while we were on board this no. time. But we we did get a quote while we were there just to yeah. check out Star. And we normally like to book on board. It's a little treat that we do. But it was it there wasn't... A, it was quite pricey, wasn't it? It was. Well, it wasn't just about the pricey side of it. Cruises is not cheap to do anymore. Um, it was more that the cruise that we were looking at, we really needed to check the dates. Check the dates. It were a lot longer cruise as well. Check the dates and also check whether we wanted a cove balcony. Yeah. Because we've not tried that. Well, that were transatlantic we were looking yes, at. Yes, yeah. The outside space here, again, we talk about this in your tip store. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved it. Yes. So this is as you're coming into the eatery and the back of the ship. Um, and they have some areas where you could see just above here. Um, they have little heaters built in. Yeah. So the main ones are all at the back, kind yes. of you of yeah. the eatery. But they did have some in that bit there. But it also has another bar outside. It has another like sort of gr- like a, grill. Like the salted dog yes. grill type yeah. area as well. But the eatery itself, what did you think? Because this was a big change. Yes, it's... It's yeah. It's gone kind of almost like um like Virgin Voyages has done. And NCL. And NCL with their I or even It's definitely not a traditional buffet. Gra- or a grander keys on P and O. Yeah, I mean the keys are a tiny little area. Whereas this is it still has its buffet on there. Each one of these is kind of like a, a little food stall. Yes. And this is where you've got that mix of NCL and Virgin. Yeah. You go up to each one, you order directly from there, you don't order via an app. No. Which you do on the other two, but they serve everything for you. Yes. Now, I've heard some people concerned going, you know, I like to put lots of different things on, on my plate and stuff like that. That's fine, you can do. Yeah. And each time you go to a different one, they'll try and give you a fresh plate. So you just pass them. So you might end up with like five plates. But if you want it all in the same plate, you just pass your plate and say, can yeah. you put me a little yes. bit of pasta on there or a chicken yeah. palm or something? Yes, yeah. so you can make up your meal as you normally would. Yeah. And, you know, I, go a little bit rogue. Yeah. I found generally, and, and this is a generalisation, because if you think about what we said about Apex's buffet, which were amazing, Yes. the food on here was incredibly fresh. Mm-hmm. You do get a few times during the day where it's essentially in between service. So there's a lot of of the things closed down. Yeah. So if you go towards the end of breakfast, say 10, half past 10, you might find that there's only one or two stalls open while they're changing them over and swapping everything out for lunch. Yes. And then the same for afternoon and then the same for dinner. Yeah. So it's not one where essentially it's open 24 hours a day. No. But it's open a lot. It is open a lot. And it's never an issue to go find some food. Like, sort of, your, your international cafe is open all the oh, time. Oh, with the little lovely cakes and sandwiches and things like that, and pastries, yes. yes. And they do, like, their uh, sort of egg McMuffin type things. Yes. And, uh, so it's never an issue. To find breakfast if it's a le- if you get up 
for a later breakfast. Yeah, and this is on the part of the ship tour that was showing this. We'll go into the eatery a lot in more uh, in our food review. Yes. Because uh, we, we ate in here quite a lot. We really enjoyed it. It felt really... <laughs> <laughs> the staff are so brilliant. Uh, they're so lovely on this ship. It felt really calm for a buffet area. It's got busy, but it didn't have that... It was never rammed like you see some buffets. No, it was... It, it wasn't a bun fight buffet area. No, there's definitely no area for bun fights. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. I think it, it's a good change. I get how a lot of people will miss the buffet. Yes. Because the buffet on ships has been sort of a, a main stay for forever. Now, when you as you come in, there's only, unlike um, Royal Caribbean or Celebrity... Because of the way that the eatery and they pass you the food and you don't handle the, the spoons and the ladles and things, there's only a small wash area, look. There is, and there was no insistent on you using the wash there's area. There's nobody playing a guitar. No. There's nobody singing to you. you no, just there's go... no, you know, wash your hands. <laughs> none, none of that element to the with the singing. Yes. Um, but at the same time, that's not to say you shouldn't wash your hands before you go. Oh, no, no. But because you're not handling the food, you're not handling utensils. So you, the sanitizer was, machine was being, and that's what I used every yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. And then you come out from there and you go into the back of the... Eatery. It, it's not really the back of the eatery because it's a dedicated restaurant, but during breakfast and lunch, it's, it's used as an extension. Spill. Yes. And especially on a sea day. Yes. So we went and had breakfast in here uh, on one of the sea days. Yeah. And at the uh, other side, at the Catch by Rudy, they serve at both sides, but it's where they do some of the speciality breakfasts. Yes. Which, again, if you've got the premier package, you get them I'm included. included. Yes. But this is where you get them. And they had, we had, like, a shrimp burrito and... Uh, I think I lo- had, like... A... Lobster Benedict or something. No, I had crab Benedict. Yeah, crab Benedict. And it was nicer than the Virgin Voyages crab it Benedict. It was the other one. Yeah, it was in nicer than the one in the work. Yeah. The, again, they're all cooked to order. Yes. So just because that's an extension of it and you go up to the counter, you still... Yeah. ...sort of waiting for them to bring it to you as well. And then we'll talk about Dario uh, when we do our big food. Yeah, I mean, we've touched on Dario already and the cat by Rudy Bear. In an evening, just sort of to finish off on that part of it, um, it it doesn't feel like an extension of the eatery. No. You have got people checking in with you. Yeah, it's just I think it's just the furnishings that makes it feel not as intimate for me when you're paying for speciality. Compared to a speciality. Yeah, it's compared to even Crown Grill and Sabatini's on the same ship. Yeah, I mean... For Dario's, I see it as less of an issue because it's more of an experience meal mm-hmm. where you've, you've kind of got a show thing going on. And, yeah. You know, we'll talk about that much more in the food review. Yeah. Whereas Catch by Rude is a more traditional specialty Gelted. dining at the opposite side. Yeah, it's almost like a beach house kind of set up yeah. on P&R. I would have really liked to have gone into Catch by Rude at the same time that Dario's on because the Dario one's quite a noisy... Yes, but it's meant to be. It's meant to yeah, be that kind but of experience. What I would mean is, does it bleed? Oh, I see. Do yes. you, does it come into your restaurant? Do you hear it? Because they're not that far apart. No. Uh, my expectation is that they do. Yeah. I don't know. Um, the way carrier at the back. Yes. So you can come out of the back of the eatery slash catch by Rudy's Dario and walk down to deck eight. Which I would do. I would, because if you come on deck eight to go out the same way, you have to go through the main restaurant. Yeah, it's not. Main dining room. You're going to feel a bit awkward doing that. Yeah, whereas you can walk virtually the whole way around this deck. Yeah. Um, it's the closest that there is to... Especially when you're in wet things. And th- if you've got, you know, you've been in the hot tub or the pool or something. Yeah. Again, obviously, I'm filming this when we're in port here, so it's quiet. Now, what you're coming down area. there is what was going to be apparently the bridal stairs for making your entrance if you're getting married. It is. We were speaking to one of the officers who's responsible for that. Yes. And they're, they're still tweaking what they're doing, and the area will change massively. Yes. Um, but they're, they're talking about that you'll have sort of like flower canopies and all yeah, sorts of yeah. stuff. Yeah, sounds um, beautiful. It does sound like it'll be a lovely area for Yeah. It. I really like this little area up here. Yeah, I mean, it's shaded at the moment, which is great if you're in somewhere really, really hot and you want to get out of the sun. Yeah, it's just as to where the the ship's position compared to the sun. 
They have two little hot tubs at the side of this infinity pool. Roman tub style, aren't but they? Yeah, they? yeah. They're, they're really only for two people. Yes. I've seen it a couple of times where there were two people and you're like, that's full. Yeah. They're m- more similar to the infinity ones on P&O. You've got to know everybody really well if you're going to get in that. If Yeah. If you went to get in there with another couple, that's... It, it'd seem a bit weird if you were just yes. sort of by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the pool bit at the back that we just walked past there also has a glass base from outside, so you can see right it's through. Through, yeah, that looked uh, great. Which visually looks stunning. Yes. Another fantastic bar. Yeah. Great cocktails again here. Yes. And then I talked about that the reason you wouldn't really walk through this, and certainly not during service time. No. Is and I do this to show people, is. You're literally in the back of the restaurant. Yes. The main dining room. Yeah. Now, you can technically walk through it. Yeah. It, it's There's not an issue to it. It doesn't say you can't walk through. No, but, but would you want to in your flip-flops and your wet sh- things? Well, you definitely shouldn't be walking through it in wet, wet shoes to the main restaurant. No. But I just feel a bit awkward. Yeah. I mean, this is sort of a, a lunchtime service. Yeah. Um, and it just seems it, to be one of those new ship designs now that they all make it kind of accessible this way. Yeah. But it's it's ooh, a revolving door. <laughs> did that take you by surprise? Even though we sat opposite that for one of we the meals. Did. We did, yeah. I'd did not, you not notice it when we were there? No. This The area there is where they prepare the desserts in the main dining room. Yes. So when we, this, we're on deck eight here. This is the Americana one, isn't it? Yeah. So it looks exactly the same as... The other ones, virtually. They've yes. all got subtle Little changes. Teams. But it, it's essentially an American diner because it has uh, its breakfast brunch on from 10... I think so, or yes. ...or 10.30 till 2, 2.30. Yeah. And then in the evening. And it's pretty much the same menu. Very similar. Um, and it never changes throughout the, the cruise. Yeah. So it's the same one every day. Whereas the main dining rooms on deck seven and deck six menus. are rotating. Yes. Um, as you would find on any normal. So new and, and nice, it's lovely. I oh, know. You could tell how new it was in certain areas where we were walking Where they'd around. not vacked up and it had bobbled a bit. Yeah, it had that new carpet little bobbles And the new carpet smell. Oh, it, it's that new carpet slash new car smell everywhere around the strip <laughs> at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're walking through one of the two shop areas. Yes. This is one of the deck below as well on here. Is this across from Sabatini's? Am I right in thinking that? Let's wait and see. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is this feels like an intimate speciality restaurant. It does, because you come in, check in with the maitre d' on it, and then you're into the restaurant. We are in here on one of the evenings, and I have to say from a... Design point of view, it's definitely the fanciest of the Ooh, Sabatini's. a magical menu appeared. <laughs> Ooh, how did that happen? It's almost like I grabbed it as I was walking past and well held done. it up to the camera. I did think it was an absolutely gorgeous restaurant. Yes. I prefer, we ate in here and in Crown Grill. We actually swapped from um, Catch by Rudy to eating in here because we it felt No, we swapped special. from Catch by Rudy to Crown Grill. I knew we'd done one of them. Yeah. Sorry, we actually swapped. <laughs> <laughs> but I prefer the restaurant design in here yeah. to Crown Grills, even though Crown Grills is even more cut And there's off windows. Because, yeah, you've got the windows, but you've also got the doors in and out. Yeah. So that's the only one that I can think of on the ship, correct me if I'm wrong, where it's actually closed off from yeah. walking as you walk past. Yeah. Again, it doesn't feel like you're up at sort of the atrium where there's people walking past like Kai Sushi. It, it's it does very feel, open, yeah. It, it's not like that, but Crown Grill's even more. So, but I did prefer the layout in there. Yeah, the high-end shops now. Yeah. I always like the souvenir shop. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ones where you can pick some Actually purchase up. something yeah. from the shop. <laughs> Relatively cheap. Well, not just, you know. In comparison. In comparison. Relatively speaking. <laughs> um, the shops are all... Sort of, as you said, relatively high end. Now, I did have an issue with the the, the general store that had um, the booze in and the cigarettes in and the thing in. All the medical and things you might forget are behind. They've got them out of sight, out of mind. The, they're behind the you? counter and they're behind a shutter. Almost so like you can't see it, like cigarettes. Are the in we the do UK. in the UK. Yeah, it was in like yeah. it was like the the aesthetic doesn't match the store, 
but that they probably sold more things if they'd have had them to hand. Well, I do personally think that they should have them on display because we, I walked around because I was looking for some blister plasters. Yes. And they didn't have them, as it turned out, anyway, even in the behind No, but we bit. had to literally queue up. Well, we, we walked around loads of different shops before we then asked someone, and they went, oh, yeah, you'll find them in this shop here, but they're behind the counter and they're hidden. And then when we got there, they didn't have them. No, we, which was less good. So, Princess, please get some blister plasters for your... <laughs> um, oh. I, I just put it on Is it, display. What are they called? Compede? Is that what they're called? They're yeah. very good. We had to go and find them in a little pharmacy. Yeah, um, that's Umai the Tapanyaki, which I tried to get into them, but it was closed. Oh. Uh, it's the first time they've had a, a tapanyaki on a princess ship. Yes. And we know quite a few people that went. And, and really enjoyed it. Yeah, and absolutely loved it. Tom from the Four Bs and Ernest went. Yeah. The cruising gears, Mark and Elliot went. Yeah. And all said it was the best one of those type that they've been to on any ship. Now, I'm sad we didn't do the hot pot one now. I am. And the... That's where, if you look on it, you'll see that there's Umai Hot Pot and Umai Tapanyaki. It's all in the same restaurant. I'm going, I think we're going to have to cost up and, and look at booking again. Oh, I definitely want to go on No, I mean for class. like, like soon. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely have a look at it. <laughs> uh, that non-committal bit there. Crooners. Loved crooners. This became pretty much our starting point. This became our what is our world thingy bar on any other princess ship because of the location. Yeah, also had some amazing cocktails. Oh, some great cocktails. So if you've seen the one where it's in a rose glass, this is where you get that. Yeah, you can all, the really unique cocktails you can only get in each of the bars. Yeah, it looked pretty. It's a bit sweet for me. Yeah, what I did like about Crooners is it's the place where. As the name suggests, they have live music on each Yeah, that evening. was lovely. And they've got it wired up from a, a speaker point of view so that the acoustics, if you're sat in any of that area, is really good. It, yeah. And it doesn't really bleed out into, into the rest what's of the going atrium. In, in the atrium. Because yeah. in the atrium, there's shows in there all the time. Oh, dance often at the same time that that's yeah. on. You could sit in Crinners, listen to the pianist, and hear them perfectly well mm -hmm. without hearing any of the atrium. Ooh, spellbound. Spellbound. So we did manage to get in here an, a preview yes. before so we didn't it became have officially meal. open. Yeah. Um, but the that's essentially by the time you're watching this, if you're on the next cruise, that that's then open. Yes. Um, it's one hundred and forty nine dollars to do three shows an evening. Yeah. But you get not only the meal, which is kind of like a chef's table. Yes. Type thing. You also get unlimited cocktails when you're in there. I mean, I've been looking at Disney Cruises today and Remy and Paolo, and they're a similar price per person yeah. with, without, without, the, alcohol. without the drinks and without a show. Yeah, so, and the show in there was a In fact, oh, you get multiple shows. You get a yeah. main show and then sort of sub stuff. Yeah. Um, that would be the first thing that I would book. Yes, that Anytime will be I will. the first thing we book yeah. when we book it. Uh, I, yeah, when, when we book onto the next sphere class, <laughs> it'll be the first thing that I'll book as soon as it's open to book. Yeah. Uh, because we absolutely love that. Yeah, now a casino, it's a smoking casino. It is, weirdly. Yeah. In the casino, even though it's a smoking casino, didn't smell of smoke. But when you come out of the lifts... At the far end, near the arena... That's how I always knew we were on the right deck. Yeah, the ventilation in here is fantastic. Yeah. Because neither of us have ever smoked. No. So we, we tend to notice it, like most non-smokers or ex-smokers do, um, as soon as you walk into it. Out of those it. very lifts there. Yeah. But at the far end of it, when you came out of there, the ventilation just wasn't anywhere near as good. So the smoke had filtered out there. Yeah. And you could smell it. And I think that's something that they need to work on, either that they can do it retro Maybe in here. I just found or it certainly for the next ship. I found it helpful though when the doors open. That you knew the, what deck you were. I knew that that was the correct deck <laughs> like, for going to cruise. Uh, am I am I in the right place? Like my sniff. Yes. No, I'm it in just the right hit one. you as soon as the elevator doors opened. Literally, you could smell it, couldn't you? But the casino itself on our cruise was rammed every evening. It was so busy, so yeah. busy. Absolutely packed. Now again, it can just be the type of cruise, the passenger demographic on that cruise, but it were. Absolutely packed from about seven o'clock in an evening, or whenever you left port, because it can't open in port, until we went to bed. Yeah, just absolutely crazy. And it was busy as soon as as soon as it 
hit international waters. Yeah. It was busy. So we've got the Princess Arena, and we're going to come into that on the other side of it. Yes. Uh, in a second. That's the elevators that you're talking about where you could smell yeah. that you're on the right the right place. Yeah. Um, where are we going now? Uh, I'm temporarily going down the stairs okay. to go into the theatre at the other side. Right. But that's through the power of editing. Yeah. Because at the point that I went in, yeah. they were in the middle of rehearsals oh, again. Oh, they would have liked and that. And I didn't want to go in there no, no. at that point. No. Whilst they didn't... No, so you no, couldn't, when, no. I, I just felt no, that it's, no. you, you sort of really shouldn't do it at that point. No, it's... Um, but you can see sort of where we are on here. Mm-hmm. Um, to where that is, because you can get into the theatre yes. on sort of both those decks. And I'll just go around to the side. Yeah. Uh, that window that you can see there is the back entrance to Crown Grill. Oh, yes. So we didn't go in that side. No. But... You can do. I, I guess that's... Um, I, I mean, I guess if, if you've been to the bathroom or something, that's the door to yeah. use. The theatre, yeah. as you can see here. With clever editing. With Yeah, <laughs> just with editing, not that clever. Really. <laughs> uh, it's designed to be laid out in so many different ways. It can be an entire round where you have seats on that back area as well. They come out from behind. But they weren't using it like that when we were on there. No. The stage can be flat. It can be in that format. Lots of different ways. And when yeah. you see the full crew's review, um, you'll see some different configurations that we saw when we were in there as well. Are you going into Crown Grill? No. This is um, the... Crown Grill? No. Is it Crown Grill that I've just gone back of it? <laughs> it's the Crown oh, yeah, it's, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm correcting myself there. So this isn't the way to go into Crown Grill. No, it's not. The, the door's at the front. That's but, the bathroom door. But the, the door was... Uh, open. So, I, I so this is you, you were, this is the cheeky entrance. Yeah, that's the, the cheeky entrance for the bathroom. Uh, as I said earlier on, it's the only restaurant that I can think of on board, outside of the main dining room, mm -hmm. where it is a properly closed off one, and it's that steakhouse yeah, feel. feeling there. Yeah, look, it's lovely. It's lovely. Good spirits. Oh, good spirits. It's uh, just a, in a very different... It's, area. It's just tucked out of the way, isn't it? It is, which I both like it. You can say it's at the other side of the other entrance to Princess yeah. Arena on deck seven. But as I, I thought as a venue, we had a fantastic night in here on, I think, of oh, the first night. It was the first night. We were in there three hours. And it, absolutely brilliant. And they have the show on roughly every hour, albeit we were in there three hours and we didn't see Either the show. Sure. No. Uh, but it was very late when we were in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because they brought us water, didn't they? To say, <laughs> this is for you. This for is to make sure you don't have a hangover and politely go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> We'd kind of like to close. We weren't the last out. There were another couple still in there after we'd left. Yeah. Uh, but I like it. I prefer it as a venue, but it's also tucked away more, so I tend to forget about it more. That's true. That's Whereas true. traditionally it's been at the side of the atrium near the International Cafe. So... Which means it's always busier. And you're always, yeah. So I I just forgot about it a little bit. That's the correct entrance for Crown Grill, <laughs> given away by the fact that it says Crown Grill and there's a door in front of it. Yeah. So it, it, it doesn't take that much working out there. So that's where you would normally go into it. Yes. And when we went in, that's where that we did go in. Yes. And then straight opposite is Princess Live. Yes. This is where we, they do the karaoke. Karaoke, comedy. Mm -hmm. So they have the comedy store yeah. on here as well. Or their comedy store equivalent. Yeah, now it's an official one. We we did sit in here, but we also people do a sort of walk past and look through. It's um like the partition At has the little holes. You can see the little holes yeah. there. So people pop their heads through. So that would probably look quite comical from the other side <laughs> when people put their heads through to see what's going on and get. It, it's almost like you know when they used to in Victorian times do tours of <laughs> bedlam yeah that, that's like that bit to watch in especially when it's like certain events in there uh always a popular area wasn't yeah it? oh you, Marley's, are we going no we'll, we'll come back to okay, Marley's okay. in just a second this is the gelat gelateria 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 oh i did remember that right yeah there's a very strong probability i didn't I don't ever remember seeing it open. I don't remember seeing it open. Does coffees as well? I'm sure it was. I just never walked past it when it was. Uh, O'Malley's Irish Pub. Yes. Incredibly popular. So popular. So 
at the time that we went on, they were only serving it serving food in there because it's a proper restaurant as well. It's a part of the pre, uh, prem, uh, where you premier premier to... one where you pick like Alfredo's where I think it's fourteen ninety nine if you've not got the package, and if you have got the plus package, you can go into their ones and yeah, Alfredo's yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. They weren't serving lunch, and we were like, "Why are they not serving lunch? It's perfect place to serve it." We've seen the cruise that's going out now, and it, and it is open like... for lunch on sea days, which fantastic. So it, it's, it looked great. The it's perfect, perfect for that. Spot. Like going to Golden Lion, Golden Lion on Q on Cunard, perfect for that time. In an evening, um, up until I think it's nine thirty, it's for food, and then. Yeah. It has the, and then the, the frivolity the, the, the band on and then it goes wild after that. Yeah. Abs- uh, probably <laughs> my favourite Irish pub. I wouldn't say favourite pub at sea. Do you know if it's my favourite... Favourite pub, yeah. Not necessarily favourite bar. No, pub. Yeah. Um, it's definitely my favourite Irish one that I've been to on any ship. The atmosphere in there were just absolutely brilliant. Bellinis, now we're at... This is a different kind of vibe again to O'Malley's. This is where you it's start... It's a very different kind, but it's, it's literally right at the side Where you kind of start your evening, whereas O'Malley's... Is where you will end the evening. <laughs> <laughs> you might not, not recall the end of the evening. No. Uh, and you see the band down in the atrium. The atrium they used... It is now a pop entertainment spot. Yes, Unlike on some of the other ones where they might have like the champagne fountain there and a couple of little bits, there are dedicated shows uh, that are designed for that space. Yes, and it's not just like the paper plane thing or the egg drop no, or anything like that. No, there's like proper shows in there. Yeah. And because it's got the tiered seating across the three floors, you've got great where, views. Where, where's this? It's the coffee shop, Coffee Currents. I don't think we ever went here, did we? Well, clearly I did. I didn't go here. <laughs> It's right at the side what, of the what, atrium. What, what pastries were there? Like? Yeah, just similar to what you get at International Cafe. So while you haven't got International Cafe down at the bottom anymore, no, that doesn't mean you can't get a coffee and a this pastry. Is, this is International Cafe location, isn't it? That's International Cafe location, and that's kind of International Cafe light. Okay. So it's not the full spread that you get further up. No, they only looked but... about five pastries. I'm <laughs> very sad that you didn't show me the pastries. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, I'm very naughty. Uh, signature restaurant. Uh-huh. So if you're staying in suite. Uh, the suite areas, yeah. this is your restaurant. Yeah, looks um, very nice. So it is. I... It, and the door was open. Oh, door, we're going in. I sneaked in. Nice. Uh, it's lovely. Nice space. Obviously, it's not massive. No. Because, relatively speaking, there are not that many and suites. And it's quite low down for a suite restaurant, isn't it? Normally, they're higher up. Yeah, generally speaking, they are. Yeah, it's quite low down. Um, but to be sort of right at the bottom of the atrium I piazza, to give it its proper name. The piazza, yeah. I would... Piazza? Piazza. Now I'm doing a silly voice now. <laughs> oh. Nice space. Yeah. We weren't in a suite, so I can't comment on the food in there, but if no, it's like no, anywhere I've... else, I'm sure it are absolutely but fantastic. But I'm quite, I'm quite... If, you know, if you are staying in a suite, what do you think about it being so low down? And that's... I don't think it really matters, I does it? Where it is? It's just, it, it's just in an area where it's for you, isn't it? I guess it just. One of the bits that we we talked about in your practical ship tips mm-hmm. is sort of navigating around the ship a little bit. Yeah. Because there are certain parts of certain floors where you just cannot get past. No. Uh, and we'll we'll look at that as we get to what, sort of where the enclave and guest services are. Are we going to go to the enclave? We're going to go to where the enclave is, not in it. So at the time that I went in, this yeah, was yeah. lunchtime and there were people using it. Yeah. We will be doing a review of the sanctuary and the enclave. Yes. Where we have got lots of footage from in there when there were only us in there. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I won't going to go in there. And film no, no, when no. Those people but are. it's good that we're going because it is confusing. It is. Shops on your right. Yes. So you've got the princess shop, which we've just come past. Yeah. Where you can get all the sort of princess merchandise. You got a sparkly gold baseball, baseball hat, cap. Which you're very happy about. One. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 fun. <laughs> so the, this it. level of shops here. Yeah. To a degree, yeah, is the more affordable. I would definitely agree. As I say, this is, is this, this is where you're going to get your little bits to take home. The your little bits to take home and any necessities that you've forgotten are away in a, in a cupboard. Yeah, absolutely. As I say, hopefully they put them on display in the 
in the future. Because I like Advil, but you can't buy it in the UK. When you need it. <laughs> you don't eat it like bananas. No, but Advil is good. And I like to get Advil on the US cruise line. Right, let, we're not, this and ha- putting this it in is the not cupboard. sponsored by No, it, but putting it in the cupboard makes yeah. it weird. Other medication is available. Mm. Um, the wheelhouse bar at the other side mm-hmm. there... That's where they do a lot of card we, games. Yes, and yeah. There's board games there as well. Yeah. I don't think we ever had a drink there. No, we didn't. Um, we would do on a longer cruise, but yes. we're only on here five nights. Yes. Um, this is the reserve restaurant. Is this for like what is was club class on others? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So they've they've started changing it across the fleet now. Okay. But um, this is if you take any of the. Rooms that are the reserve classrooms. Yeah. So they have the reserve mini suites. Yeah, they look to be twos and fours, don't they, in respect to tables? Yeah. There were no issue in terms of if you're a couple getting a two. Getting a table of two. Uh, and again, can't comment on the food in it no. because we weren't staying in a reserve suite. No. Um, when we go on Ruby Princess, um, no, we're not in a reserve on that. No, I'm going to say, you're surprising me. No, no, oh. I'm not. Okay. Uh, so no, toilets. Yes. Uh, and then I'm just sort of going to cut round a little bit here, and where are we on? Oh, main the, dining room. Yeah. So if you have got a set time that you're decided to eat at, deck six is like for seat for sittings. Uh, is for sittings. Deck seven, so deck six is below us. Yes, you can so just see it. So this is deck seven. There. Yeah, yeah. Deck seven, where we're on now, is if you just are going to turn up. Oh, I thought it was if you booked an, a, a thing through the app. Yeah, it's not a, fe- a set. Time no, 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 set dining, dining time. You set time dining is below, and yes. then the one above this is the Americana. Is the Americana? Now you'll have noticed as we came in, there are stairs to the left. So you can walk up or down each one. So if you're going on the wrong deck, you can walk down it without having to walk through the restaurant. Now, when we went to the Americana one, the couple in front of us were looking at the menu and then asked what the food was downstairs, and they didn't know. So then they had to go and get a menu to bring up to this couple so the couple could decide whether to eat in the Americana one or in the main dining room. Maybe Princess just have some, some menus up there just so that if people say, actually... What uh, what have you got What's downstairs? What's on each floor? Yeah, just, I'm trying to help. Yeah, because people are going to ask that. They are. You know, the, there's this expectation that if you go to a main dining room, that it's the same menu. Now, that isn't the case on things like Celebrity Edge Class. No. Each of their sort of four main dining rooms is different, different menus. different theme, yes. Yeah, so the fact that this is sort of three decks. And so close together. That people are expecting it to be the same. Yeah. Whereas deck six and deck seven are the same menu, but they change every day. And and vice versa, you know, on deck seven, they could, they could have the menu for deck eight. Yeah, absolutely. And say, oh, well, I'm Americana. Just trying to help. I'm sure Princess will appreciate that. <laughs> but as I say, these are the steps here. So if you come in on the wrong deck... You can. You're not having to walk back or go back down the lift. You can just go down and it yeah, takes you straight to the area. Yes, uh, as you will see. Yeah. Um, which is what I'm doing now. I think if I've I've got, you know, and it depends what you're wearing or how yeah, you are. It, but if yeah, you can't go it's downstairs, easy. Yeah, the lifts there is. Right it, it just shows how close it is together. Yeah, and as you say, we're, we're then down deck six. Yes. And as you will see, the the decor is very similar. Yeah. In each one. It, it's subtly yeah. different, but not No. Um, not is it Iona where there's slightly different shades of beige? Yeah. Yeah. It, and, it, and, it, and like you said, celebrity, they have different themes again. But that all knits together beautifully. That's nice. Now, as you see on here, mm-hmm. Deck 6, we've got a couple of other areas, such as the Kids Club. Yes. And you've got the uh, Enclave. Yes. The Lotus Spa. And guest services. Lotus Spa, but Lotus Spa's where they do like the massage treatments and the thermal enclave. Yes. As opposed to the one upstairs, which, which is, is hair and beauty. Hair and beauty. Yeah. As I say, you will be able to see properly into this area if you check out the Sanctuary and Enclave review. As and when it... As and when that's up. Yeah. A couple of weeks from now at the time of recording, but depending when you're watching this, it may already be there. Yeah. But because this was the middle of the day, I had already seen people walking through there. Yeah. Um, I was just like, there's just no way that I can no, record this No, it's just a bit point. 
it's a bit fun to find, isn't it? That's the thing. It is, yeah. You need to relax once you've found it. But getting to it is not a straightforward. No, that's what I'm saying. It's a bit of a quest. Yeah, it is. To find it. And uh, and some of the treatments, you actually go down the steps, so you're essentially on deck five. Oh, this is the children's area. Yeah, again, when I went in there, there were kids in. Yeah. So yeah. I, I couldn't no. go in there. Oh, goodness, no. And then guest services, which were always used to be in it. In the piazza area, yes, in, in on the, the lower where... atrium, generally yeah. on deck six. Yeah, on the lower floor. It's yes. not; it's cut to this end. Yeah. So you can't walk directly to it. You have to go down on a bit of an angle. Which again is like a Virgin Voyages one. Incredibly like a Virgin Voyages one because the reality is that you can do the vast majority of things on the TV or the app. Yeah. So you don't need to go down there as much, and that's the end of the tour. Wow! Wow! Well, thank you for watching. Cheers, Cheers, darling, and have a lovely day.